Okay, over the course of your study of economics, you'll learn to recite the multiplier effect in your sleep. It is basically one of the most important concepts in the syllabus. So let's get started immediately. The multiplier effect occurs when one person's spending becomes another person's income. So let's say I pay a grocer $2 for some apples. The grocer now, $2 richer, uses that money to buy some bubble tea. Now the bubble tea shop owner, feeling richer as well, goes on to purchase some stationery, for example. At each transaction, one person's spending becomes another person's income. The multiplier effect is defined as a numerical coefficient by which an autonomous change in aggregate expenditure, in other words, changes in C, G, I, or X minus M, is multiplied by to derive its final impact on national output. At the moment, this seems like quite a mouthful. So for now, we just have to look at, we just have a quick look at the multiplier effect in action. So let's say the government spends $1 million to build a factory. The money does not disappear, rather it becomes wages to the builders, revenue to suppliers, etc. And the builders will have higher disposable income and may spend that income on goods and services. So the aggregate demand will also rise. Suppose further that those recipients of the new spending by the builders in turn spend their new income. This will raise demand and possibly consumption further. And so the process continues. However, not all the increases in income will be spent. Some money leaks away from the cycle in the form of savings, taxes, or import expenditure. Every time the process repeats itself, some money leaks away. Much like friction on a moving object, this causes the multiplier effect to slow down eventually, and the cycle will come to a stop when the total, sum total of all the leakages equals the initial $1 million injection. So the increase in national income or output at the end of all this, this, this whole cycle, this whole process, is the sum of the increases in the net income of everybody affected. So since one person's spending becomes another person's income, the increase in the national income is much greater than the initial $1 million injection and is in fact a multiple of it.